In this video, we will learn about uh, star schema and uh, snowflake schema in SSAS. When we develop a data model, the data model consists of uh, dimension tables and uh, fact table, right? So these are the dimensions table, like a DIM promotion, customer and the product. And uh, we have one fact table that is called uh, fact internet sale in this example. We have uh, one to many relationship because all the dimensions table contain the primary keys. Uh, for example, in the customer, we have the primary key here is the customer key and the fact internet sales. This table has customer key as a foreign key. And in the same way, we have a product key in the team product key as a primary key. And uh, in the fact internet sale, the product key is used as a foreign key. And in the same way, we will connect the dim promotion with the uh, fact internet sale, right? Here we have promotion key and we will find the foreign key here. This is the promotion key. So we will drag to promotion key here. So here you can see we have one to many relationship here it is one and the star mean many so always remember one thing the key should be unique in the dimension table like in the dim promotion dim product dim customer so this if these keys are duplicated then the model will throw an error while processing and we can have uh, duplicate rows in the fact tables so it doesn't matter we we can have one fact table or we can have more than one fact table depending on the granularity and uh, we will see the situations where we need more than one fact tables the fact table contains all the foreign keys for for the connected uh, dimensions tables as well as the numeric data like uh, you can see here this is the unit price, extended amount, discount amount. So these, so these all are the numeric data on which we want to perform calculations. So if I say sales amount, the total sales amount is like uh, 1000, then what does this mean 1000? So we need to give 1000 some meaning, some description. So this description will come from the dimension tables right like uh, uh, total sales amount by product name or by product color by customer type by promotion so the dimensions are used to give the meaning to the calculations right so why we call it star schema look it looks like a star schema right we have uh, only we have one fact table and all the surroundings are dimensions tables these tables are highly denormalized um, when the tables are highly denormalized we can fetch the data very easily very quickly right and uh, in snowflake schema we have uh, a bit more uh, normalized tables and when we have more normalization stuff, we will need more joins. So now let's try to build the snowflake schema. So how, how we will do that? We need to add some more tables. So how we will add tables? You can just click here, AdventureWorks DW 2016 import new tables and uh, we need here dim product category and subcategory these are the two tables that we need finish close so we need to scroll a little bit so these are the tables that we have imported right so the first table is here you can see this is the product category. Let me zoom it a little bit. So here you can see this is the product subcategory, right? And uh, this one is the product category. 
and here we have the primary key and here we have the foreign key the product category so we need to connect the dim product with the product subcategory so for this we need to have one to many relationship here this is the parent table the product subcategory and the dim product is the child table right and uh, we need the product subcategory key so this product subcategory key should be um, should be used as a foreign key in the dim product table so if we look here subcategory this is the subcategory key right let me yes this is subcategory key and uh, i will just drag subcategory key to the product subcategory here so here you can see this is the snowflake schema so these are a bit more normalized as compared to the other tables right so this is how we can build star schema and uh, snowflake schema are the hybrid schema that contains um, star schema as well as the snowflake schema together so whenever we develop a model we need first of all we need to see how many facts table do we need because the facts table will based on the granularity of the data right so if we have um, different granularity of data then we need more fact table so when the granularity topic will come then we will see how to deal with different granularities and uh, then we need to identify the different dimensions and then we need to identify the relationship primary key foreign keys all the keys within the dimension table should be unique and uh, it doesn't matter for the fact internet sale because in fact in the in the fact table we have the foreign keys as well as the numeric data right so the fact table will contain all the foreign keys that will be point to the um, dimensions table so the fact table contains all the foreign keys of the dimensions table as well as the numeric data on which we want to perform calculation for our dashboard or the business case or reports so that's all about snowflake schema and uh, the star schema if you have any question please write in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe our channel thank you